Shalom, shalom, mishpocha. Welcome to another edition of Ray Bash's Ramblings. Today I want to talk to you about flexibility. Flexibility uh, to a Jew, is, uh, especially to a convert to Judaism, uh, can be a pretty hard subject to grasp and to wrap your mind around because as a Jew, as a Nazarene Jew, as a Messianic Jew, as a Jewish believer, as a convert, uh, you know, we, we, we abide by the 613 mitzvot. Uh, 613 commandments of the Torah. Not only that, but there's a lot of extra traditions that we willingly take upon ourselves, and many of these traditions are built uh, sort of like fences around the main law, and it keeps us further away from ever even breaking the commandment, or even coming close to breaking a commandment, and sometimes we willingly take them, these uh, extra laws, if you will, upon ourselves to protect us. Um, it would just be like... Um, you know, if, if I was an alcoholic or had a drinking problem, uh, I wouldn't walk down the street unless I had a buddy, especially if there was a line of bars down the street. I would have a buddy with me so he can keep me from running in there if I lost control or it would help me to, uh, um, you know, maintain some accountability or I would have a lot of friends who knew about my problem and would continue to encourage me. I would have a sponsor, you know, and you can make this application to, you know, drugs or alcohol or, or pornography or any addiction or any vice. And uh, these are uh, fences built around the Torah uh, to keep us from even coming close to breaking a commandment. But flexibility sometimes can be so hard because these commandments are, you know, such, you know, they're very, they're very, uh, um, you know, rigid. They're very, they're very uh, black and white, if you will. Uh, and sometimes we get rigid in our thinking and in, in becoming ritualistic and legalistic and following the commandments, and that's not what Hashem wants. Yes, Hashem wants us to fulfill the Torah. He wants us to keep the commandments. But if you read Isaiah 1, he says, you know what, I'm sick of all these sacrifices I've commanded you to do. I'm sick of these festivals that I've commanded you to observe. Why? Because God made a big mistake in making all these commandments? No, kas shalom, God forbid, by no means. He was tired of the people going by religious rote, uh, going by ritualism, going by the outward motions of it, and it not penetrating or having any positive effect on the heart. Uh, they were thinking they can get brownie points uh, with God if they just kept the outward appearances of the law and not uh, fulfill the law within themselves. So uh, what, is, what does flexibility have to do with this? Well, if you look at the Torah, I know that, that a lot of rabbis and a lot of sages have their own halakha and have specific ways of filling, fulfilling the commandments. But let's take uh, mezuzah, for instance. Uh, the tradition has come to be that, you know, according to the Torah, it says, write these upon the doorpost of your house um, in the Shema, in Deuteronomy 6. So, uh, tra tradition, we have a, like a cylindrical container that we uh, nail to the doorpost, and there's a certain way we, we angle it and a certain place that we put it, and uh, so and inside this container is a parchment that has the commandment to affix God's word to your door. And so this is the, the universally accepted way to fulfill this commandment, but if you think about it, uh, the, the Torah itself is, is pretty wide open. You can put it on there with a sharpie. Uh, you can nail a piece of parchment on there and have it laminated. You can do the traditional route and have a mezuzah, have the container with the parchment in it. You can paint it on there. You can carve it on there. You can take a wood burner and, 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 and decorate uh, your doorpost with the word of God, what have you. And to me, it would be legitimate. It would be fulfilling the Torah. It would be fulfilling the commandment. So th right there is flexibility. you know. But more so... Uh, especially when we're trying to relate the Torah, trying to, let, to relate Yeshua and Judaism to the outside world, um, we have to be flexible because we're going to continuously run into people all the time that goes against uh, the very things we stand for, that practices the very opposite of, we stand, uh, of how we practice and what we stand for. And we have to develop interpersonal uh, skills to be able to, to handle these situations. Not only that, but when life uh, uh, goes awry, when troubles come your way, uh, when, when you're faced head on with a problem, uh, don't be like a person in a car crash and go, oh my gosh, embrace yourself for impact. You know what? You're just going to get injured that way. Did you know in most drunk driving accidents, it's the drunk driver that comes out without a scratch? It's the drunk driver that survives? You know, that just seems, that just seems wrong. Why is this so? Because when a person is inebriated, when a person is drunk, uh, they, they, their reaction time is slow. And so when they have a crash, a car crash, they go with the flow of the accident. And their body is just fluid and limber. Their body is flexible. And that's why they do not sustain uh, injuries. You take trees, for instance. 
you know, for a, like the weeping willow. When strong winds come upon that weeping willow, the branches are, are solid. Uh, the tree is solid, but it's created. The tree is made in such a way that it bends and sways and moves with the wind, so that it is not uh, that it is not broken, that it is not snapped in two, that it is not overcome with the pressure of the storm. So whenever life circumstances come our way and things where where we brace for impact or we brace for the pain, you know what? Let go and let God. I know that's tr trite of me to say, and it's almost like a cliche, and it sounds pretty shallow, and it's very hard to do when you're in the midst of it, but nonetheless, go with the flow. Uh, not give in to negative or, or sinful uh, desires or pressures or whatever, but you know what? Just let the problem wash over you. You know, ducks, uh, their feathers are, are waterproof. If you've ever poured water on a duck, the water beads and rolls off its back. And many times my mama would tell me growing up, you know what, don't worry about what that person said. You know, sticks and stones may break your bones, but names will never hurt you. Let it roll off your back like water on a duck. And when I seen water bead on a duck and roll off, I knew what she meant. You know, let those problems just roll off you. Not to say that it doesn't sting or doesn't hurt, because inside it does. Inside problems uh, cause great stress and great conflict. But if we put our trust in God and we're flexible, you know, sometimes we have this preconceived idea of how God's going to answer our prayer or how God's going to solve our problem. And the way he answers it might even be totally opposite of what we envisioned. But you know what? We've got to get rid of these preconceived ideas and we've got to be flexible. We've got to let go and let God. Whenever problems smash in our way, you know what? Don't brace for impact. Go with the flow of the accident. Go with the flow of the problem. And, and, and trust God. Put your faith in God. And when you're flexible, you won't break. You'll bend. You'll, but you won't break. Just like Rob Shul says, he says, I'm, I'm, I'm uh, pressed but not crushed, persecuted not abandoned. I'm pressed down but I'm not destroyed. Why? Because Rav Shaul was solid in his beliefs, but yet he was flexible. Because when problems and trials came his way, he was flexible and he was able to go with the flow of, of what was coming his way. And he was able to come out unscathed. So... Uh, just remember, uh, whenever next time you encounter a problem, just just think of the uh, weeping willow. Just think of the drunk driver, if you will. Uh, flexibility. And uh, stay solid, stay rooted, stay grounded. Uh, stay immovable like a tree, but be flexible like a tree as well in, in your beliefs and, and when you encounter problems in your circumstances. So may Yahweh bless you, and uh, Shalom and Shavuotov.